Hallelujah. We give God thanks this morning to be in the presence of the Lord. You may be seated. We give God thanks for those that are that have joined us live this morning. Hallelujah to God. God is a good God. In spite of our numbers being limited, in spite of the world being a pandemic, God is still good. Amen. God is worthy to be praised. He's still worthy to be lifted up. He's still worthy to be exalted. And this morning I give him thanks. I give him praise. I give him honor. I give him glory because he is worthy to be praised. I know whose hands I'm in this morning. Hallelujah to God. Thank you, Jesus. I honor God this morning because he is all that I am. Hallelujah to God. It's all because of Him when I'm standing on top of my grave this morning. Hallelujah to God. To our pastor, Pastor Lord Cobbler, our assistant pastor, Overseer Peter Campbell, to our today's Youth Sunday. Hallelujah to God. To our youth president, Missionary Renee Johnson, and Vice President Minister Palmer, in their absence. I greet you all. Those who are viewing on our live, whether you're in your bedroom, your living room, and those of us who are gathered here in our small number, we give God thanks for you. I want you to turn your Bibles quickly with me. I will share with you short. From the book of to the book, turn your Bibles to the book of Psalms, chapter 16. And we'll read verse 1 and verse 2. Preserve me, O God, for in thee I put my trust. O my soul, though I sell to the Lord, thou art my God. This morning we are asking the Lord to preserve us in spite of all that is happening around us. Hallelujah to God. Some of us, we have been locked in in our homes for many days and this has affected some persons mentally. But we need to ask God to preserve us. Hallelujah to God. Let us take this opportunity that we're locked in to close in ourselves in our closet and seek the Lord. It is a season of seeking God for his promises. Hallelujah to God. And if we seek God, then we know that he will deliver. In this season, we have to ask God to preserve our health. Preserve our families. Preserve our mental state, but most of all, preserve our spiritual life. Let us not take this season to only sit at home and watch Netflix and everything else. But let us take this season to seek God and ask Him to preserve us. We know who we trust in. And the only thing we need to do is ask God to preserve us. We need to preserve, be preserved in a season like this. The world is in chaos because of this pandemic. But we as children of God know who our preserver is. Hallelujah to God. He is risen. The one who preserved us is no longer in the grave. He's alive and well. The one who preserves us tells us not to allow our hearts to be troubled. Because this earth belongs to him. And we have that assurance that he will preserve us. Don't be troubled-minded or double-minded in this season. Because God is preserving us. He's preserving us for a comeback. He's preserving us for deliverance that is coming. He's preserving us for healing. Jesus is preserving us for a revival this afternoon, this morning. Don't be comfortable in your homes, but seek God as He preserved you. Hallelujah to God. Things that you have been praying about. You don't see coming, but you need to see God more. It's a time where you're shutting your closet 
because he's preserving you. In spite of the pandemic, God is still faithful. He is still true. He's still answering prayers. He's still healing. He's still delivering. He's still coming true. Preserve me, O Lord. For in thee, I put my trust. In spite of what the world is going through, he's still our strong tower. He's still our rock. Hallelujah to God. He's still our comforter. Preserve me. Preserve me, O God. For in thee, I put my trust. O my soul, thou art said unto the Lord, thou art my God. There's no other God this morning that I'm serving. Buddha is dead. Muhammad is dead. Selassie is dead. And the world resurrected. Hallelujah to God. Because the trumpet of the Lord haven't sounded yet. So they're still dead. Hallelujah to God. But the preserver that I know. Hallelujah to God. Three days. He's my preserver because he has a key. Hallelujah to God. Silas is still buried wherever they buried him. Mohammed is still buried wherever they buried him. He has not risen. The, 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 the carcass is still in the tomb. But my preserver, which is Jesus. The tomb is empty. I am a Messiah. Hallelujah to God. He's alive and well. Hallelujah to God. He's still our preserver. Hallelujah to God. Though we are facing this pandemic this afternoon, this morning I say to you, fret not. Because Jesus is our preserver. Don't be we reminded because Jesus is our preserver. Hallelujah to God. Stand sure that he's going to see us through. Our preserver is Jesus. And he shall bring restoration to us. Hallelujah to God. In the book of Jeremiah 23 verse 6, he promised, he said, Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and I will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. When you know your preserver, there is a peace within your soul. When you know your preserver, hallelujah to God, you know that you will be sustained. There is a calm, hallelujah to God. Tell yourself this morning, wherever you are, in your homes, in your living rooms, in your bedrooms, wherever you are listening or tuning in, tell yourself that Jesus is your preserver. He's going to preserve you no matter the turbulence, no matter the tribulation. He's going to preserve us. Hallelujah to God. Rest assured this morning that Jesus will preserve us in spite of what we're going through. He's our God. He'll never go back on his word telling this morning, preserve me, O God. Preserve me, O God. There is purpose in me, so God needs to preserve me. Hallelujah to God. There's something about to break out in me. God needs to preserve me. Trust God in preserving you. Stay in the hands of the preserver. Don't let this pandemic allow you to lose focus and you come out of the hands of the preserver. Stay in the hands of the preserver. If there's a backslide of you, get back in the hands of the preserver. If there's a sin of you, come in the hands of the preserver. You need to be saved. You need to be sheltered. Get in the hands of the preserver. Put your trust in the hands of the preserver. He needs to preserve. 
preserve you. He promised to preserve you. Come in his arms and be preserved. You won't be spoiled when you're in the hands of the preserver. Put your trust in the hands of the preserver. You can't be spoiled. You can't be rotten. If you stay in the hands of the preserver, Don't be spoiled because of the pandemic and you can't gather in the sanctuary. We are the church. The church is alive and well in us. Hallelujah to God. It's not the four walls. Yes, we miss the coming together, but when we all got, get a chance to come back together, it's going to be a grand revival. Stay in the hands of the preserver. So when the grand revival comes, you will be blessed. Hallelujah to God. This morning, I say to you, though this pandemic is happening, stay in the hands of the preserver. If you're not in the hands of the preserver, get in the hands of the preserver. God bless you in Jesus' name.